Welcome back to Gear Daddy. I'm your host, Daddy Troy. I'm so excited. Eric Doggett's back, professional photographer. We're in the middle of photo month at dadlabs.com, and he's going to tell us how to choose a new camera. Today's episode is sponsored by Baby Bjorn. We're in the middle of photo month on Gear Daddy at dadlabs.com and uh, today's episode is all about choosing a new camera. Eric spotted a bunch of cameras for us. Eric, tell us all about them. Well, I'm a Canon person by trade, but uh, you can get equally good results with some Nikon gear. And what I did was I basically pulled four cameras that I thought represented the price range and quality points that uh, people need to be aware about when they're, when they're looking for a new camera. So what I did was I uh, grabbed a couple different ones. This one is a little Canon Digital Elf. It runs just under $200, and uh, it's a great camera for just grabbing some snapshots. Next step up from that is a PowerShot G9. It's a great little camera, and a lot of professional photographers use this and love it because in addition to, to being a great pocket camera, it gives them uh, full manual control over all their shooting. What does going fully manual mean? So what a camera wants to do out of the box is it, it tries to make decisions about how the picture should be taken based on what it sees in the scene. A lot of times that's not the right decision. If, if a camera sees a little glint of light, for example, reflected off chrome or in a window, it might clamp down on the exposure because that's, that's really how it's judging. It thinks there's a lot of light coming It thinks out. there is and there's not and so you want the ability to go and say, no, no, this is the way I want the shot taken. Some of the smaller cameras will allow you to, to roll the exposure up and down to kind of increase brightness or darken it, um, but when you go with a camera that gives you the full manual control, you set the shutter speed and the ISO and the aperture, that gives you the, the greatest uh, control, the greatest creative freedom to create um, some of the images we've talked about. Now, the first one that I always recommend in terms of people listed or interested in digital SLRs is a digital Rebel by Canon. And for dads who are new to photography, what does SLR mean? Single lens reflex. It basically means that the way the camera takes the picture, a mirror pops up and exposes the sensor, which is just a little bit different than uh, than how these other ones And you can put are. lenses on and off of these cameras yes. you can't on these. And that's okay. the big point about all of these uh, cameras. A body like this, $500, you can put uh, $6,000 lenses on it and be fine. And that's the, the capability you get with that. If a dad's going to get one of these out of the box, though, what's the cost going to be in terms of if I bought a, you know, a package with lens and body at the same time? On a digital Rebel, you're looking probably around $600 for a body and a lens. And then you can also just get the body itself for probably around $500. And so this is the, the, the big pro one right here you brought in? Yes, this is the brand new Canon 5D Mark II. And the buzz about this one is that it also does high definition 1080p video. What am I gonna get as I go up the line in terms of quality of pictures? With these smaller pocket cams, which are great for taking you know, shots when you're out and about somewhere, uh, that's a useful purpose for them. But when you start looking at uh, taking pictures that you wanna have prints made, eight by 10 or higher, you're gonna see a noticeable difference, not just in the quality, but the capability of these cameras. But this one right here has eight megapixels on it. A lot of people think that megapixels is like the defining aspect of all cameras. And if it's small like this, the sensor inside is actually small. So that's gonna affect the noise quality of the image. So a lot of the cameras, especially the entry level digital SLRs will have a pop-up flash. They are a good, a good flash to use to get started with flash photography, but eventually you're going to want to get away from that. As, as a professional photographer, do you ever use that pop-up flash? No, at all? I never use the pop-up flash. Uh, I do put flashes on the camera, but what I end up using is uh, I, I put the flash on it and I bounce the flash around the room. So I'll point the head maybe behind me or off to the side. And you get this different quality of the light that's more portrait looking and not so paparazzi in your face. Right, right. And so if a dad's going to buy this kind of a digital SLR, should he think about also buying a flash as part of the whole thing? Or can he get good pictures without buying the flash as well? Uh, you can get good pictures in terms of learning how to take a shot without using a flash, which is a, an important technique that we're going to talk about at some point. And it, eventually you will want to get a flash just to, to provide some supplemental light. So experiment with the pop-up flash for a little bit, but also budget. It doesn't have to be the top of the line flash. I mean, the, the entry level flashes that come that are available for cameras that go on the hot shoe um, are really good, good ones to start with. And for a dad who's never used a digital SLR before, what's the learning curve on getting to, used to using it and actually getting good pictures? Can he, can he get it right out of the box and take some good pictures? Or is it going to take a half a year of shooting? Because I think some dads get in this panic moment when they're having sure. a new baby, right? I got to have a good best camera possible, are they going to end up getting this and not getting good shot? With digital cameras, they're all including displays on the back. And so you can get that instant feedback right away that I would say a couple months of good practice will allow you to get some great shots. And you'll begin to realize that 
If I want a certain kind of look, I need this particular lens. I need to shoot at this time of day. Well, Eric, thanks for coming in and showing us all your cameras. Sure. Um, you've got a portfolio at your website at yes. doggettstudios.com. That's right. D-O-G-G-E-T-T studios.com. And you've also got another product we talked about last week called Box Office Baby. If you didn't catch that episode, you should check it out. We also have you coming in next week. And what yes. are we going to talk about then? We are going to talk about ways that you can kind of up your photography game. So using whatever gear you have, improve your pictures and kind of take them to the next level. Thanks so much. Sure. We'll see you next time on Gear Daddy and all week long at dadlabs.com.